majina ni Ocheng Job Ocheng nilikuwa na 19 years nilianza kucheza ball nilikuwa na 9 years motisha yenye ni fanya nikacheza ball ni kila mtu alikuwa anatembea na yeye alikuwa anacheza ball na mimi nilikuwa tu naka mtaani sasa walikuwa wanaenda kucheza wakaona sipo mimi nikibaki au kienda wakaanza kuniambia tuende tuende ndo nikaanza ku develop interest life ilikuwa challenging ju kwetu tuko wengi tuko tulikuwa watu karibu wa nane tulikuwa tunaishi kuwa single sasa buda akienda kutafuta mother akienda kutafuta tunabaki tu na masista zangu mimi ndo kijana peke yake sasa sikuweza tegemea vitu zinaenda kutafutwa huko pia mimi nilikuwa najitafutia unapata saa zingine tunachukua na vijana tunaenda tunauza chuma ndo afadhali ikifika kitu kaa lunch hivi tunaenda kwa hoteli umepata 20 bob yako afadhali unaweza kula kitu after develop interest nayo nikafika 12 years hapo ikaanza tu kunifurahisha nikaanza kucheza lakini home bado wazazi wako nataka nicheze ball ulikuwa unapata nilikuwa nakuja na vitu za ball lakini hazifiki home nikiulizwa nimetoka wapi nimetoka kucheza vitu za ball nilikuwa naacha kwa beast yangu nikiingia home late napigwa na siwaambi nimetoka ball nikiambwa ni sehemu kweli na kataa tu sijatoka ball sasa kuna siku walikuja wakagundua sikujangi na vitu za ball home na mimi huenda mzee ali kama kanipata kwa ground kicheza kaningoja nikamaliza akaniambia tupatane nyumbani alienda akanipiga akaniambia simu heshimu lakini sikukufa moyo bado nilikuwa natoroka home naenda tu kwa ground kucheza ukisema kweli hapo kucheza mpira for long time hiyo ni kitu uwezi jua hiyo ni vile Mungu amekupangia unaweza sema utacheza mpaka 50 ufike hata 25 upate yani vitu hazikuendei vizuri watu sema ti footballers sem footballer akiacha ball na kuwa mwizi akiacha ball anarudi na kuwa maskini lakini mi hiyo ni kitu sijai believe juu sasa hii tunacheza bola fadhali unaweza pata kitu ni bila unajipanga sema kama unapata 10 kula 5 weka 5 hiyo pesa una invest kuna vile itakusaidia hapo mbele sasa mimi na believe hata ukicheza bola hata kama ni Kenya wanasema bodi lipi vizuri lakini mimi na believe the way umejipanga ndio kusaidia mbele Injari nimepata so far serious nilipata nikiwa shule nikiingia form 1 nilikuwa nacheza nikapigwa kwa west ilikuwa pain nilikuwa na cup yangu za zingine nalia naona ni kama niko karibu kuacha ball na ndo naanza lakini nili keep to faith kwa god na nikatulia tu kiasi saa kuna siku nilirudi tu kutrain nikasema acha sasa iko tu na niuma nikicheza sijali na nikasikia pain haiko kabisa nilishukuru nikaomba Mungu kwa kunisaidia ku heal faster na sasa hivi bado naendelea vizuri kuonekana kwa TV hiyo kama tunaweza sema kila mtu ana expect kitu kubwa kutoka kwako Asi vile iko game yangu ya kwanza naweza kumbuka nilionekana kwa TV ilikuwa tucheza under 20 Mother United versus Gor Mahia hapo nyayo. Sasa after kucheza hiyo game tukamaliza game nikapata simu mingi. Tucheza under 20 tu tunapatiwa so mbili kila siku. E, na hiyo do si na lakini nilikuwa tunashukuru juni hiyo imepatikana. Sasa najipanga tu na vizuri sana unapata mtu anakupigia mtani anakuambia eh hey, nimekuona leo kuja home kuamulia hata kitu
ni rea sana kupata mtu anaomba lakini mimi na mimi mingi na sana hii kategori ya vijana wadogo kupata mtu alipitia life ngumu sasa ndo unapata celebrate kabla hajafanya kitu yake yenye anazoea lazima arudishie Mungu shukrani for example kama mimi tuseme tunacheza game timu yetu ifunge kuna mombi ndogo naweza fanya kabla sijasherekea kwanza eh naweza funga macho niombe mombi tu fupi hapo kwa post ndo nianze kusherekea na wenzangu sasa hii nilitoka kaole tunaheshimu hapo mtaa vijana wapendi ball sana lakini mimi umekushua sasa zingine na nakosa nga kwenda mazoezi kwa hii academy yetu ya makongeni nilete vijana pamoja kitu yenye nimelanuku kidogo na ufundisha nikipata tuseme nimepata kitu kaa jezi napatia coach apatie kijana sasa nadhani nikifanya hivyo hiyo itakuwa pile itao motivate watasema eh kama job tulikuwa tuna hapa juzi juzi mm. sasa hii anaweza tusaidia pia atataka kuwak akuemoka mimi pia pia akikuwa mkubwa akuwa anasaidia watu wengine before game watu wanapeana nga psych unapata watu wanaambia na vitu za kuchekesha for example kasi kesho saa tuko na game pata watu wengine wanakuja kawa kuna uoga sababu mtu ako na uoga unataka pia yeye umuingize kwa game awasaidie sasa mnamwambia tu unaweza mchongoa unamwambia umeogopa yani ukishamwambia kitu kaa hiyo pia morali itamuingia eh sasa mimi na believe hiyo the word team vile na understand na yona ina maanisha together everyone achieves more sasa so, yeah, mimi na mimi na believe kama unataka kuenda mbali lazima u nini u consider watu wako karibu na wewe Eh hey, ndo utasonga sana. Menta wangu mkubwa anakuanga buda yangu. Mm. Anakuanga na hii ni wax ya kutengeneza matent. Na niliona hiyo wax na muingizia ngado sana. Sasa nikienda nga chuo sa zingine siku ana concentrate sana. Eh hey, nikasema hii wax inamsaidia. Eh saa ilikuwa napata nikipata time naenda kumsaidia kufanya hiyo kazi na nalan tu pole pole nikienda ocha na mwambia nifundishe saa mimi naona tu nda nda step in kwa hiyo kazi yake Cheza ball hiyo ni career shot eh na siezi sema ati nataka nifike 30 ama mali tu nitafika nashukuru Mungu kwa nipatie hiyo uzima nikafika hapo ndo nionekana za endelea na hiyo kazi ya buda yangu kama niichukue kaya wanasema nga life after football advance na za kwa kwa watu wa young ni football ni ni kitu ya kubelieve you can make it inasema wanasema nga kwa kwa shehe inasemekana nga ni game ya kibuda hakuna hakuna uoga msa as mtu mwenye anataka kucheza ball first thing anafai kuwa na courage aji realize akishajigundua a step up to the occasion kanta kucheza ball acheze juu in game haitaki mambo mingi ni game nataka mtu ametulia juu wezi mix na vitu mingi unapata nga mtu akicheza ball unasikia tuseme for example kai yeji yetu Mtu akipata bo, akicheza bola shike do kiasi anataka kuingilia story ya madem anataka kuanza kutumia drugs hizo zisaidia utaenda hizo hizo drugs na madem utaenda hizo ndo vitu unafanya kitu inakusaidia umeachana na sasa inataka tu patience na the moon akuwa patient si ati kukuwa patient si kukaa tu ati una unakuwa patient at time yako itafika the more time yako itaenda kufika inafai ufanye kitu time yako ikifika ikupate kama kitu ulikuwa unafanya itaonekana yote time yako ikifika
kwetu patient umekaa na hakuna kitu unafanya. The second part of the interview is coming up shortly. Please don't touch the dial. zikusanya zikusanya zikusanye mpaka tengeneze mpira. Sasa hiyo kitu kama mpira jua lembe inafuko kama mpira ilikuwa imejaa kwa nyumba kila kona. <laughs> Sasa baba akikuja akiziona hizi ni nini matakataka kwa nyumba? Hizi ni nini? <laughs> Toa hizi vitu nje. Sasa tunazificha tu tunazificha tu hata mimi naona kisumbuka kitafuta hizo majwala akitengeneza hizo hizo mama mpira mpira. Sasa mimi Ivo tu nilikuwa najua kuna mali atafikia na atakuwa mchezaji. Nilikuwa naona kigrui. It was 2012 when he was a young boy. He joined a small football playing group while we were staying in Kayole. So in this group he was the goalkeeper. So he gave himself a name Vandasa, where this I, prominent goalkeeper was Manu by that time. Uh, so from there, he he was noticed by the coach of Sunrise Football Club. That was based in Mojato. They used to practice in this Osara Primary School. Uh, his studies reduced or there was some retardation kidogo because in secondary school they used to move out a lot almost every weekend they are not in school uh, preparations for such like uh, friendly meetings and uh, official school programs or curriculum activities was forcing them to be out of class many many hours so when they were out those many hours they couldn't catch up with those who were studying on the normal regular time so he reduced supported him in every request he made to me now formally people used to say footballers don't have future now i realize this generation has gone we have to give support and uh, he can testify to that there's nothing he has asked from me and he has missed i've been buying for him sometimes akikuja likizoni ana kuta nimetafuta shorts t-shirts this is a football nimemwekea akikuja na mpatia tu now the positive is part of it is that is is getting into a self-made career now this is what he likes and we have built him to enjoy what he likes uh, we've been supporting him so that he carries on and to project just not to play in kenya and expect to do well and even be noticed to play outside that's the focus he's dreaming and we are assisting him to dream that or to succeed in that dream Now the achievements as I can uh, backdate his appointment as the school team captain Now Kakamega High School has got a great soccer reputation for you to captain that team you must be very very excellent That was one good achievement that made me happy 
Another one that made me happy was the call up to the national team, uh, the junior national team, the under 20 and the under 23. Made me very, very proud because not many people achieve that kind of call up as young boys the way Job is young. So that one made me very happy. Now the mentality that parents had before that football is just a, a time passing game is gone. We should embrace football as a profession and we have seen in many countries this pain. So parents who can get the opportunity to promote their children to do sports, I would encourage them to continue with that because we have seen successes from local footballers. If I would mention Denis Oliech uh, started very well, Michael Kot, uh, McDonald Mariga, and now Wanyama and Olunga are on their high flights. They are doing well, and uh, I would like to tell Job just to continue hard, he'll be somewhere. I played football, but not to the highest level. It was only school level. But uh, his mother was also a great netballer while in school. So it is not a strange thing coming into the family. Yeah. I'm also a great fan of volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Sasa sengine ukiona ukiona watoto wengine huko sengine nilikuwa nakaanga nasema eh hey, watoto wengine si wanafurahi sana ukiona watoto wao labda mtu anakimbia mtu labda anafanya ana yaani anafanya activities zingine anaonekana kwa TV sasa kikaa chini anamwangalia anasema eh hey, mtoto wangu ndio ule sasa vile kwa TV nikimwona eh hey, job ndio huyo hata sababu tengine anashangilia nikimwona tu ndio huyo anasema eh ule job ule job ashangilia kwa nguvu na furahia yani now, when I watch him play in the TV or the game is being captured in the TV, it's a great, great happiness because an achievement to appear in the national television is a chance that not many people come by. So it's some pride. Like me, nobody has ever seen me in TV while playing anything. So he has overtaken me there and I support him there. Uh, now even when we are at home, I normally show his grandmother, there is your grandchild playing there. Now initially they were not so much happy that football can bring in anything. But when they used to see him in the TV, in the news, news briefs and so on, they became very, 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 very happy. And even the children back at home, they now wanted to do something to be like him, because he was like a, a leading light over there. I'm going as an individual to see him play. Now, when he was in school, I one time attended the game where he was playing. When he was playing for under 20 team for Madare United, I watched two of his matches. And I did not tell him I was around. After the game, it's when I was surprising him with taking his photos. Yeah, he was busy playing and I was busy taking his photos. Kutoka kwa kiwanja na msho. Look at what you were doing. The coach. The coach. Stretch his feet by the 